Hello, this is Shamak Acharya and this is the History of Environmental Health. Okay, but before we start on the History of Environmental Health, let's go over some baselines. Public, uh, environmental Health is a branch of public health in which, in which the environment affects people's health in different ways. And these different parts that is going to be focused on are the social, political, and economic parts. And the social involves people interacting with each other. The physical environment where people live and work. And economic is how they interact with money. Here, the epi triangle identifies that those different aspects. And the agent, which it happens to cause the disease and the host which is the person or group of people that are being affected and the environment in which they get that in effect and the ways to improve people's health is is by improving the environment in which they live work and play and even includes providing them with adequate resources to improve their health and now let's go over to the history of environmental health starting with the ancient greeks here they created the foundations for modern anatomy physiology and psychology and it's basically trying to, and they also wanted to find the balance of good health by finding the balance between the four humors of blood, yellow bile, black bile, and phylum. And then, yes, they also wanted to focus on finding the source of the disease. And one person had found the relationship between the environment and person's health was Hippocrates. Here, in the 6th century BC, he wanted to, he stated that the diseases that are in the, in, in the area, in the area that where it's mostly common then in low numbers is still endemic. An epidemic is when it's way more than expected for a specific region. And, and in, in what factors that lead to those diseases being occurring in the first place is due to those favorable places for the disease to thrive and this is what Hippocrates provided with his own explanation and then these is just a this actually took this is an example of like the role of the environment in different aspects these are examples by the way now let's go over to ancient Egypt, in which the Nile River acts as both the life-giving source of water and the source of disease. And yes, source of life for drinking, cooking, and washing, and also diseases in which the water ha houses microorganisms that get inside of people's bodies after they consume the water and this is during the 5th century BC and some of these actions are due to people's behavior and also most of it also is due to the environment that also arise from this and with the foods being contaminated and that people end up consuming and that end up eating their res valuable resources that their body is supposed to extract from their food and causing them to have some health issues in the process. This is a description of the few examples of what happened during that time period. And ways to treat is by eating poop from various animals, cat fat, and cooked mouse. 
in environment health during the Roman Empire around 165 CE. And some of the same factors that apply to ancient Egypt also apply here, but most of it is due to climate and weather patterns and as a result affecting Egypt again but as a as a territory of the Roman Empire which is its breadbasket and as a result not enough money in its economic value would go down the money for the Roman Empire would go down causing things to go out of control and people having to make irrational decisions to stay valuable. And this is the map of the Roman Empire during that same time period. And this is a descri detailed description of what happened of what I just briefly explained in two slides ago. And the disease also from the eastern, from the east, Middle East during the Roman Empire time also traveled through that same trade routes for the Roman Empire. And in this is during the in the Indus Valley civilization, some of the same aspects that happened in the Roman Empire also affected these this civilization. And due to not not getting adequate good quality rains but irrational too much rain or not enough rain causes some environmental devastation that causes that causes the climate and the weather to go unfavorable and also as a result environmental changes also cause poor sanitation and favorable platform for diseases to thrive and it also causes social and political instability and so people want to migrate away to the town to the cities so they can find better opportunities but that does not even help and this is the map of the Indus Valley civilization And yes, most of this is the detailed explanation of what I briefly talked about in the previous slide. Now let's go over to the Chinese. Some of the same thing that took place in the in this valley civilization was also affected here, but most of this was due to people misusing the land so they had to do is migrate into different locations due to them depleting the resources that that keeps kept their cities in line and then gave them valuable resources to to thrive but now they have to do is locate relocate to different aspects different parts of modern day china to grow back and pretty it's pretty much the endless cycle of location relocation civilization and it is all the 8,000 years of Chinese history and this is a this, this is a description of what happened in each Chinese dynasty when it comes to the environmental factors that cause them to be relocated in different aspects, different locations of modern day China. And this is the map of where everything took place for the Chinese civilization. And now here is the zero waste society of the Aztecs. This is where they end up using waste materials that normally that I would throw away as worthless waste, but they would probably use it for valuable resources as shown here and then and then for 
and no one is even free from misusing this no one is free from getting punishment from 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 wasting resources even the people in power and their families and friends yes even these this is like an example of uh, the political and punishment examples that actually affect people from po positions of power all the way down to the poor person. And this even in impressed the Spaniards who came and conquered them that it was so clean as a result of their attitude and behavior and tactics used to keep themselves clean. And now let's go over to the Black Death in Europe. And it is caused by Aeneas Pestis. And most, and it, it is traveled by m mice. It carried on mice with ticks that actually spread the disease from people. And in some of the same tactics that is happening with the coronavirus is, is taking place here as well. And some of these ways of treating is by using leeches. And in a few ways, and these are the signs and symptoms of the disease, and a few ways of preventing them, each other from getting the disease is by wearing a bird beak ma mask like thing, so that they do not get bad air that is associated with the Aeneas pestis. <laughs> And it's the same geographic reason, region as the old Roman Empire, but primarily on Europe, the, primarily the European portion. And now let's go over to the 1770 with Percival Pot, because he was the one who found the relationship between scrotal cancer and chimney sweepers because they were not wearing adequate protective gear. So the way to prevent that from happening is by making them wear protective gear in, in legislation in which allowing for 80 year olds and older to do the chimney sweeping business with wearing protective clothing so that they do not get the effects of scrotal cancer. Now let's talk about black cholera in the Central Valley of America. It is it is rain from as far north as Michigan and as far south as Tennessee and as west as the Mississippi River. And then it's most of it was due to lack of good hygiene. And then and as a result of stigma with certain groups they were being blamed and some aspects of this that is happening with the coronavirus when it comes to school is some of the same tactics that were being used to prevent people from getting the disease yes yeah, similar reactions to the coronavirus outbreaks and some of this is the same thing over here but a few examples and and as a result some of the same things that took place during the black death also apply here in in like the ohio river area and these are the towns that are affected during the 1840s and 1849 and 50s now the public health act of 1848 Chadwick and then it is pretty much is to improve the sanitation and so this is not a this is not a doctor's solution this is an engineer's solution to improving health of people but here the resistance was due to people being 
the wealthy and powerful thinking that their rights would be inhaled, inhibited, but it was due to them not understanding. And it took place in August 31, 1848. And this, and this provides the responsibilities of the government. And these are examples of these are some examples of the responsibilities of the local government. And, and now let's go over to John Snow and the Broad Street Pump. And now this is about John Snow studied about the cholera outbreak in London in 1854 and found the relationship between the Broad Street pump and the and the cholera outbreak and it found out that that southern and rural downstream was contaminated with water that had been that had been contaminated had been contaminated with contents that was not as frequent in Lambeth. And this took place during the early days of the outbreak. This is uh, <laughs> this is the area where it act where everything took place and the people here in the brewery don't get that much contaminated of the disease due to them having their own personal water pump but since people have to use the water pump from the broad street pump it turns out that the person the water has been pulling from the from the river that had already been contaminated to begin with which took a few days early. And then the, in the, in these are, and then going on to the next slide. And this is now, let's go, oh, now going over the next slide in the Chernobyl disaster. Most of this actually took place in April 26, 19, in 86 around 1 23 a.m. This actually took place during a safety test by the way and as a result <laughs> the, the operators and everybody else got can got were injured more like exposed to radiation as a result of the explosion that took place as a result and fires and these smiles are the the safety drill tests that are these smiles and frowning face explain how things actually went during the safety drill test and these are the radioactive elements that actually got released And then these are the environmental contamination, and as a result, people who are living nearby the Chernobyl disaster had to be relocated so that they, so they do not get exposed to unnecessary exposure of radiation. And the issue, yes, the issue was actually they didn't solve, not didn't get solved until 1990s. And these are what was going on during that time. And now let's go over to the Aero Castro kidnappings. And how is this actually environmental health? This is the social environment where it gives the local residents who live in a neighborhood that doesn't have that much good. It's just an average good looking neighborhood, but it gives the people fear that their children could be kidnapped. And the physical environment is in Aero Castro's home, where he, where the girls that were kidnapped, got, were so programmed to, to not even go out if they 
that then they would be killed and their children might be one of their children might be killed that he had children with but one thing that got him didn't account for that their that his children that his daughter with one of with one of the girls that he had children with was a was able to give them the opportunity give them a chance to escape and go to a neighbor to his to Aero Castro's neighbor and can turn her turn him turn him over and this took place in May 3, 2013. This is what this is and these girls are the ones that got that actually got captured during their respective dates. And this is all the references that I used to do my research for the history of environmental health. It's the second slide of the uh, and verse effect on all my other resources to do the same thing. Thank you for watching and have a good day.